Sunday school in small groups. Uh, Tom Rayner did a study uh, that he published back in 1995. And I believe it's the book Effective Evangelistic Churches, if I recall right. And he discovered that the number three issue in churches that were growing evangelistically was having an effective Sunday school. And uh, what he discovered in 1995 was that sun, if you use Sunday school as a means of assimilating new people into the class, that uh, there was a success rate of five to one over just using worship service. Otherwise, if you, if you had new people into worship, that um, you had five times more success keeping people if you got, were able to get them into a, into a class. If you were able to get them into a, a small group, the Sunday school was still better at a three to one ratio of keeping people than was the small group. Now here's what's happening there. I mentioned earlier that small groups can be effective for assimilating people, and they can. But because small groups are small and they force people into intimacy, sometimes new people don't want that level of intimacy. New, new people come in, and they do want to have a level of anonymity. And they, so the Sunday school provides a big enough class that they can be involved outside of worship and yet come into some smaller uh, fellowship group uh, that's large enough that they don't have to be too vulnerable, too intimate, uh, too sharing, uh, but yet it gets them involved at another level other than just worship. Uh, and then later on, they can get involved in the small groups. Uh, but sometimes people don't, new people, small groups just too threatening. It's too threatening. Because if you're in a group of 20, you don't have to talk. If you're in a group of six, you do. And that's the difference. And sometimes new people don't want to be in that group of six or eight or 10 because they have to talk. But the class provides them with a way to get involved in there and not have to get uh, talking. Now, this study... Uh, was skewed a bit towards Southern Baptists. So uh, you need to know that. Okay? Rainer's study uh, was 500 and some churches, as I recall it, that were uh, Southern Baptist churches. Uh, also skewed a bit towards Southern states. Uh, so, you know, in California, uh, Michigan, places like that, Sunday school, not as effective, you know, as it is in, in the South. Uh, but it still can be effective to some extent if you work the system and, um, and put it into practice. It can be, can be very helpful. 